is that? You think you're rewriting the laws of physics, right? Making the world a better place? Something came through it. I know what I saw. Hello everyone and welcome to another video by Centipede Geek. Today I want to discuss my thoughts and opinions upon the sci-fi original television series by the name of Primeval New World. I'm going to talk about episode 1, the pilot episode called The New World. And without any further ado, let's go and get to it, shall we? So I'm going to talk a little bit about the creation of the series and who created it and where it actually came from. That way you guys can be more informed before I actually talk about the plot. So Primeval New World is actually a spin-off of an old uh, British television series by the name of Prime Evil. The old one actually premiered both in Canada and the UK, and Prime Evil New World, like I said, is actually a spin-off of the British series. The thing with Prime Evil New World actually is, was is that it premiered in both the UK and Canada, and it was canceled after one season, and now the sci-fi television station has now picked it up hoping that it will do good in, the, good in the rating system. That way it can be confirmed for a second season because it's already failed in both Canada and the UK. So let's hope for good things, right? Uh, so anyways, that's where Primeval New World came from. Let's talk about the plot. Well, I don't know too much about the original Primeval series. I'm not familiar with that whatsoever, so I'm not going to compare or anything like that. I'm just going to talk about the spinoff series titled Primeval New World on the sci-fi television station. So what we have in Primeval New World is pretty we pretty much have there are these things by the name of anomalies and pretty much what that is if you're confused it's pretty much a magnetic force field or a magnetic field where these dinosaurs are able to walk from their time period from the past and they're able to walk into uh, the future for them the present day period and roam the streets killing people and there are these gr and there's this guy this group of people that believe in these dinosaurs and they pretty much have to send these dinosaurs back to the original time period because if they don't just so you guys know major spoilers coming up uh, the thing with the series is if they don't it could unravel history and change the world to something it has never been before so it could just change history you know forever and ever and that's pretty much the main just of the sci-fi original television series by the name of primeval new world for episode one titled the new world we also have uh, some other subplots, some minor elements going on. This guy has been working on this, the main character, you know, has been working on this project for, I believe, you know, some five years, I believe it stated. And it seems like his wife or girlfriend of some kind actually got killed by a T-Rex. So this has been his pet project for a while now where he, you know, he has to find out this exists. You know, and finally in this episode, he gets the reassurance that he needed. You know, dinosaurs do exist, and they, you know, are able to actually come back, you know, and live with us, you know, and, you know, kill people. And pretty much, you know, it's about him trying to, you know, stop dinosaurs from, you know, coming to, you know, our time period. It's pretty much what it reminded me of. It was kind of like a cop show, you know, involving dinosaurs, about this, you know, corporation that, you know, trying to stop, you know, dinosaurs. Kind of a sci-fi, you know, sci-fi, CSI kind of element is what the show really reminded me of. Uh, but I really enjoyed it overall. Uh, let's talk about my opinions of Primeval New World, the sci-fi television series. Did I like it? Well, yes, I did like it a lot. I didn't think it was downright amazing, you know, but I think it's one of those series that, you know, as time progresses, I really am going to enjoy it. As a pilot, I thought it was pretty solid, honestly. I really enjoyed it. One of those reasons was was the main character. I thought the main character had a nice backstory to him overall. Uh, he was really interesting. I liked you know the drama between you. Know, I liked how it showed you know how the, how the story connected and told itself through the flashback scenes of his wife or his girlfriend or whoever it was. You know, I guess his wife dying and that whole thing. Uh, and then there was this other you know kind of mysterious character that had a cool quote telling him you know to stay away from this. You know, like I said earlier, it could unravel history and change the world. Uh, so it has that nice, really nice, uh, you know, sci-fi concept to it. The best thing about Primeval New World is that it's just a fun series to watch, you know, characters, you know, everything else aside. It has this nice, solid uh, plot and concept to it about these dinosaurs that, that come, you know, from the past into the future. Uh, and it's, that's just a really cool concept. The effects are pretty cool. Uh, it's really cool just to see these different kinds of dinosaurs. It's like this pterodactyl in the first episode. It's like this raptor with fur on the back. Through the flashback scenes, you see the T-Rex eat his wife, you know, and the blood dripping off the T-Rex. So it's got some pretty cool, uh, you know, CGI effects. So if you're into that, you know, this is, where, you know, Primeval New World's where to look at. 
Uh, so it's got some cool stuff like that. And overall, I thought it was a really uh, solid pilot. Some cool stuff in there. There's another character I liked where they, they have to go, they decide to tell the government what's going on. So they have to look for like this person that deal, deals was, that deals with, you know, pretty much, you know, undiscovered phenomena like UFOs and stuff. And they find this, you know, secret, you know, government corporation by the name of Magnet. And they find the leader of the Magnet. They've been doing it since, since like the 1950s, I believe. And he seemed like a really cool, I guess you could say, like kind of quirky character where, you know, he was smart, you know, he was able to get past the reporters and everything in this episode, and I liked his character a lot, too. He's, like I said, he's the one who was involved with the Magnet Corporation. He's, the, like, the leader of that government, you know, undiscovered phenomena thing. But overall, those two characters are my favorite. Everyone else is pretty uh, basic, but I really like the main guy, a uh, and that whole thing. I also forgot to say who the series is created by. Uh, Primeval New World was created by... Uh, two people, Judith and Garfield Reeves Stevens. Uh, they are mainly known for uh, they're they're actually a husband and wife uh, writing team. It looks like, and they are mainly known for writing uh, several of the Star Trek books. So overall, I thought the Primeval New World uh, episode one, the pilot episode, I thought it was a solid pilot. It wasn't amazing, but overall, I'd give it a solid eight out of ten. I thought it was pretty good, and I can only tell I'll probably fall in love with the series as the series progresses. Like I said, the show has already been canceled once, so let's hope it does good on the Sci-Fi channel. That way we can ensure a season two, because it looks like, uh, it looks like it should be a fun season to watch, watching these, you know, sort of, you know, cops, you know, go after this, you know, these dinosaurs. It's kind of just a fun show to watch. Anyways, that's my review of the Sci-Fi television series by the name of Primeval New World for episode one titled, the new world. Once again, thanks for watching another video by Centipede Geek. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe to my page below, and I'll see you guys later with more videos by Centipede Geek.